à la vôtre. there. First off, let's talk about the pastry war that has gone over the France's best love the pastries lately. Whether the famous pain au chocolat should after all be named chocolatine as southern France claims. This is a debate that has been going on for decades and eventually reached the French Parliament. Some insisting that the word chocolatine been recognized as an official alternative to the pain au chocolat. Indeed, the most conclusive theory is that the chocolate pastry was first imported to France from Austria in the 1830s by a boulanger named Auguste Zeng. He called it chocoladine croissant, a croissant-shaped chocolate-filled brioche that gradually morphed into the rectangular chocolatine. Well, I have to confess that the one we'll be making today is way superior. Alors, pain au chocolat ou chocolatine? Ce sera à vous de juger. Une recette inspirée du talentueux chef boulanger du Plaza Athénée, Guillaume Cabrol. Let's get to work. And first, I'm going to toast some cocoa and nibs, and you'll see why. So here we have toasted cocoa and nibs. And we are going to blend this in milk. This trick will add up incredible flavor to the dough, and that's what we are looking for. Good news though, used cocoa nibs can be enjoyed mixed into your yogurt, smoothie, and so on. Alors ça vous le gardez et vous le mélangez avec du yaourt, c'est très bon. Cocoa nibs are small pieces of crushed cocoa beans. Widely used in the pastry and cooking world and can be easily found online. Though if not available, use plain milk or water. It's fine. Mix together flour, cocoa powder, sugar, honey, salt, yeast and butter. Then add the cold cocoa nibs infused milk. When it forms a ball, transfer over your countertop and begin to knead, smashing the dough using the palm of your hand. And do so until it turns elastic and completely smooth. That should take around 10 minutes. This croissant matrix, by the way, will help you to understand the fermentation process. Indeed, most yeasty dough should end up with an internal temperature of 77 Fahrenheit 25 Celsius to ensure a proper fermentation process. If too warm, the fermentation speeds up, affecting the taste and color of the product. A simple calculation that will improve your baking skills. Let's check the temperature now. 25 Celsius, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. That is perfect. Cover and leave it out to ferment for about two hours or until doubled in size. Plenty of time to take care of the butter slab for the folding process. Just make a six by six inches, 15 centimeters square and chill it. Right after, we are going to make a caramel à sec for the Jean du Ja, which is a mixture of hazelnut spread mixed in chocolate. And that will become our chocolate bars we're going to use for our chocolatine. And by the way, if you don't want to bother with that, use Nutella instead. So caramel à sec means caramel without water. It's very easy to make just make sure that there is no kids around. So basically you throw some uh, sugar in a hot pan and you cook until caramel stage. And you throw in your toasted hazelnuts and almonds. Let cool completely, break into pieces and throw in your running food processor and blend for a while. It's gonna take five minutes or more until it turns into paste. 
that's homemade praline right there. One of the most used mixture in a pastry and confectionery world. Now turn this into something even better called Jean Duja. Add melted chocolate. So here I'm gonna add uh, both milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Alors ça mes petits hippopotames, ça c'est de la balle. Mold Jean Duja using a rectangular shape lined with plastic wrap. Chill to set and divide into 12 grams bars and freeze. I told you guys, it's gonna be something. Let's take a look at our chocolate croissant dough. Wow, gorgeous. Take care of that baby. Deflate and shape into a tight oval. As you can see, I have not been using one gram of extra flour since the beginning. Though, once chilled, you would need some. Flatten it over a frozen baking tray and freeze for 20 minutes on each side. Remember that 20 minutes prior starting the folding process, leave butter out. It should be at the same consistency as the dough, meaning cool but supple. Now we're gonna need some extra flour for the folding process, laminating tourage in French. So we're gonna give one double turn and one single turn, un tour double, un tour simple. That is exactly the same protocol you would follow for any croissant dough recipe. Flatten dough about twice the size of the butter slab, unclose and roll out into a narrow but large rectangle, moving dough around and dusting flour as you go. This will ensure that it won't stick. So for the double turn, the left edge is folded in to meet the last third on the other side. Then fold the right side and close like a book. Tour double, double turn, done. Chill to relax for an hour, then give the single turn, tour simple. Roll out into a 6 by 27 inches, 15 by 70 centimeter rectangle and fold in three, just like a business letter. And refrigerate again for an hour. Well, Let's roll this out into 13 by 20 inches, 33 by 50 centimeter rectangle, and cut into 14 chocolatine. Then arrange them onto a frozen baking tray and chill to harden. Everything you need to know about this recipe in French and English, please go to brunoskitchen.net. Retrouvez cette recette complète en français et en anglais sur mon site internet brunoskitchen.net. For now guys, please subscribe, like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest at Bruno Albuz. Watch carefully. Here is the secret behind the way it looks. How smart. So basically you score the surface of the laminated croissant dough using a super sharp knife or razor blade. Add two Jean Dugia chocolate bars and roll. Proof, bake, enjoy. This is the most stunning chocolate croissant I have ever experienced. The beauty of the result match the taste. That's what matters most in the culinary world. If you love croissant taste of France, don't miss this video. Thank you again for watching. Have a gorgeous day and see you soon. Merci les amis, à bientôt et régalez-vous.